The program is called Hockey uh, Equality. It started by Anthony Stewart, an NHL alumni. Now is on uh, Hockey Night in Canada, um, and he's brought a few kids down here from the program that he works with, and invited my dad and myself down to you know network and um, experience this, and you know just get involved back in the hockey community and, and, and further um, our our presence here. And we got a chance to talk at, at the luncheon with. Uh, a group of young kids, um, diver you know, about diversity, about uh, the way to carry yourself in the hockey world and stuff like that. So, so those kids, I, I could see myself through them type of things. Like I grew up being maybe one of the only one in the team. So a little bit like me, uh, and I could say Cassandra as well. Uh, we uh, we were the only one in, in every team, and uh, and sometimes growing up is it, it, it's tough to find uh, role models and stuff like that. So. Um, they got the chance to see the, the role models like Anthony, like Jerome McGinley and those guys, but also uh, having the chance to hear from us uh, personally, uh, talk about their own experience as hockey players and how to deal with different situations, so that, I thought that was pretty cool. We've gotten to go to most of the most of the events here and last night we got to go out and it's cool to see my dad see some ex-teammates and you know different people in the NHL and meeting them and um, yeah, it's been, it's been awesome. Chris Joseph, um, um, Jimmy Oscar. Croft, uh, Rich Sutter, so and there's a lot of ex guys that ex players that uh, we know from you know being around the leagues. It's, it's a small community. You know, you grow up. He's my coach and dad, and you get to go on these tournaments and things like that. But to be able to be in the professional world together and go down and experience something like the All Star Weekend and make connections and network, it's it's very cool. You know, I traveled the world with her, playing hockey, coaching her, and then. Uh, Having her experience this, meeting some of the uh, the stars and the people in the hockey world, uh, uh, pretty excited for me and pretty proud dad. In my dad's career, he came to a point where he realized that he was making an impact, and I feel like, you know, as a woman of color and a woman in this industry, I think um, I have the space to become a role model, and I think that what I'm doing is is important. And um, right now, I'm just you know fo focused on you know furthering my career and seeing you know how I can make an impact um, in the world of hockey. I wouldn't be who I am and where I am in my career right now if it wasn't for him and watching him and him telling me stories of adversity growing up and things like that. And you know, it makes me realize I had it pretty easy and that I'm quite lucky to be where I am. And you know, the way that he carries himself and his humility and humbleness, I think, um, makes me really proud to be his daughter. So, tear. <laughs> oh, <I know. laughs>